Hello, my name is Dory. it's Candy here and welcome back again to my channel today's video is something different kind of makeup tutorial as you can see I have my half half face half glamorous and yes half Dory <laughs> yeah this look is inspired from the movie now finding Dory and the reason why I created this guys because it's been a long long time I was really thinking that I wanted to incorporate this such kind of segment here in my channel um, such kind of I really want to create avant-garde um, makeup ideas or makeup look which is one of my favorite things to do and to create so to share with you guys some ideas that's why I created this segment which I called Creative Friday <laughs> yes it's Creative Friday because I was thinking that I will create at least two kinds of look um, twice in a month and that is and it will be Friday only so I hope guys you like this idea and yeah I, I'm so excited to create this kind of um, makeup ideas or makeup look here in my channel and I'm so thankful so much to Beaverly here I will put her name the nurse beauty in you because she's I was talking with her before actually and we talk about that about this idea and she's the one who really like push me that do it do it and do it and yeah and also she helped me to find a title of this kind of segment here in my channel so yes thank you so much Beverly and now this is my first kind of look that I created in this segment and I hope guys you like and I hope it is interesting and helpful for everybody who wants to recreate such kind of look you know <laughs> so I'm so excited and yes it's a big intro and yeah let's get started since I will be applying a face paint to my face I really double my moisturizer just to protect my skin for my foundation, I will be mixing these two foundation from Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation and from Dior Dior Skin Forever for more even natural looking skin. Blending that with my beauty blender and I will just apply this only half of my face. Using Diego de la Palma cover stick, I will conceal and just highlighting the area that needed to be highlighted which is forehead, under eye and nose bridge and the area which only needed to be highlighted. And to follow the setting up of my foundation and concealer with the use of my favorite RCMA no color powder and I will just bake the area that needed for only baking method. Now for my eye area, first I will apply this MAC Longwear Paint Pot Soft Ochre just to prime my eyes and this will help to hold my eyeshadow and the color will pop up more beautifully and setting that with any powder foundation. Taking my Givenchy Eye and Brow Prismy, I will apply this one into my upper lid as my transition. Thank you. 
Then taking this NYX Showgirl, slightly applying this to my crease area. Now to intensify that crease area, I will use this NYX Glam Shadow Aurora. Now with the use of this NYX Glam Stick Illuminating Topaz, I will use this and apply entirely my lid area as my eyeshadow base. Then taking this ColourPop Color Shack Shadow in Lac Folie, I will pack this entirely to my eyelid area. Suddenly, Pinky just jumped up onto my table and just wanted to say hi to all of you. Taking my Kat Von D Mivi Daloka palette, I will take the yellow eyeshadow and apply this to my crease to smoke it out that area. And just taking my time to blend that area. So yeah, taking my favorite gel liner from Maybelline, I will create a cat eye wing liner. Now for my down water line, I will just mimicking the eyeshadow that I use from my lid and then just dragging it down to my down water line area. And so now it's the time to contour my face with the use of my NYX matte bronzer and just to add a little touch of color into my pale face. And then a touch of blusher from Chanel. And a hint of highlighter from MAC Oh Darling and Let Me Shine. Alright. Contouring, and then I will just apply my mascara and my false. Now my half face is done, and let's move on to the fun part. Taming my eyebrow and applying a stick glue because I want to conceal it. Now setting it up with any translucent powder and then I will just conceal with the use of this NYX concealer palette and then I will cover entirely my other half brow area. Now using my blue and white face paint, I will mix this together to achieve the right exact color of Dory. Now I'm just outlining the half of my face and then after that I will apply entirely the blue paint in my face and then including the ear part and then that's it. And combing my hair and tuck in in a half and then I also include a portion of my hair to apply this blue paint and then just to create the image of Dory in that way so yeah that's it and then just blend all the colors all the way down and then also I'm now outlining the half of my face with darker blue color and then just try to create the shadow more darker to the shape of the face of Dory and that's it just creating that part and then after that I'm going to highlight the eye part of Dory and just creating shadows there and then now I'm just gonna start outlining the eye part of Dory by using the white paint and then I will cover that entirely and creating such circle shape and then after that I'm gonna 
um, mix these two together, the red and white, to create uh, a little bit pinkish kind of color for the eye part of Dory. And then I will also just cover entirely this part. And then just to mimic the eye of Dory. And then a little outline for this area just to you know to create more illusion of the eye part and then taking this black kajal i apply this i or i use this as my black lipstick because dory have uh, the picture that I want to create is the mouth of Dory has an illusion of this black color so I just overlining my lips and create a little bit wing just an illusion of smiley kind of thing and this part now I will draw the dark or the black shadow or the iris part of Dory's eyes and then a little touch also of white highlight of the eyes and then just creating the teeth of dory yeah i think that is the most important part of the face of dory and just highlighting and highlighting just add a little texture of the face and then the tail or the fish tail of dory and this kind of wing i don't know what is the name i just created this one a little bit um i don't know how to say soft cardboard and then i also painted and created and then attach this one into my face with the use of glue and then i pin up the tail of dory and yeah that's it and now i'm done with my dory inspired makeup look and just retouching all the makeup and then i'm done and then here in this part i just apply a little bit mascara into the other half of my eyes but then i didn't apply here my false falsy or false eyelashes then the other half of my lips i apply from lime crime velveteen's lipstick and then i'm done with my makeup that's it for today's video guys i hope you like and enjoy while watching how i created this kind of makeup look half glamorous and yes half dory here and yeah i am so excited yes as what i told you in the beginning that this new segment here in my channel will be okay you know slowly slowly it will be okay and hopefully guys you like this kind of idea i really wanted to share with you such kind of creative kind of things such as avant-garde makeup um ideas or look or anything such kind of creation like this yes i know it's not halloween but i really 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 wanted to do sit this kind of idea here in my channel or yes i really want and that's why i start now and it will be twice in a month friday so i hope you like guys please don't forget to leave comment comments down below any suggestion or any question i will answer that all or if you have um you know such kind of idea that i'm going to create for my next um creative friday i am so so happy to hear that if you have something i love um um, if you have request, you know, I love to do that and yes, and if also you are new to my channel Thank you so much for dropping by here in my channel and please don't forget to click the subscription box Below and you will see more videos like this in the near future. Yes, I am become below below <laughs> and yeah so i'm so excited guys so hope you like this idea and thank you thank you thank you so much for watching and see you on my next creative friday bye